Alright guys, I'm heading back down to the apartment complex, the same one that was on the previous video, to do some of those repairs, change out service valve, uh, there's uh, one with a kink suction line, I'm going to disconnect and repipe. Just a lot of various activities like that, making sure everything's done correctly, getting things on pads. And I was going to bring you guys along for the journey. Alright, we're pulling a recovery on the unit we saw last time. We're going to install a new service valve, three quarter inch, right here. After recovery is done, fix this right here and take the suction line dryer out. Alright, I refit the uh, compressor with a new line of copper all the way down to the roof, to the service valve. We're going to go ahead and braze it on the outside. We cut out the old suction dryer. We're going to redo that as well. Put a straight section in there. So hopefully she'll be a lot happier in operation. Alright, we're at 1238 microns and coming down. We've been running for a couple minutes. Uh, Everything's soldered up. Had a little leak on the bottom of the fitting here. We can't see it, but I fixed that. And uh, haven't put Armaflex on it. There's a new valve in place down there. Looks almost like it was supposed to. And uh, we're pulling a vacuum, and then we'll uh, put the charge in. Our right, equipment is all up and running now. I had to put the service door back on. Our lines insulated. Even jacked up the unit next to it. Also a Goodman from 2009. Insulated the line with thicker Armaflex. Uh, taped off the wire, repaired to shorten the wire. You would move the wire and the contactor would go in and out. Um, we're about done with this one. This is a GSC 130 18, 10.5, 13 seer, dry charged unit. Alright, here's our next two winners. Uh, two good ones again. See from the square frame, this one's a newer one. That one's a 2009 model over here. This one's like a 010, or 010, 10 or 11. Uh, we're going to repair a kink in the copper here. When it comes around there, it's kinked off. We're going to take it out and repipe it. And the other one, we just got to level up and put a pad underneath it so it's horribly unlevel. So we're going to start with that. On with the show. We are about to pump down our Goodman here. As you see, here's a better look at the kink copper. It comes in there, it's kind of smushed on the side. Uh, someone tried to bend it back into this condenser. It just didn't quite make it. And you can see... Uh, focus in there on both these service valves they're leaking there's a big bubble you can't see it it's out of focus but it's a big bubble right there see there there's a big bubble in there and the same thing there's bubbles forming at the top of that one it's hard for you to see uh, they probably just cooked it whenever they installed it so I'm going to I'm not going to change both those valves I'll use nylog on those valves seal them up and hopefully that'll hold them that should do it uh, but it's just someone overheating them but about to pump this one down and get started well we had to get the recovery stuff out because the old bristol couldn't handle pumping down the unit uh, if you look at these units they're micro channel units as well some of the other brands have gone to micro channel which makes them nice and easy to install for guys like me who are one man but they uh, don't always pump down well and this one didn't pump down well. So it's got about 20, 25 pounds left in it that it just won't pump down. So I'm just recovering the last little bit from the unit. Let's see where we're at. Now um, we're done. All right, we have a new piece of copper fitted up here. Took a piece of three quarters and used the ratcheting benders to kind of put an arc on it, uh, the way it should have been done the first time. And uh, let you guys know, I just I did buy those expanders that Yellow Jacket made. Um, Probably the last person in the world that was using swages and a hammer to swage copper. So I wanted to join the, uh, I guess, every single other person in the HVAC trade by buying that. So I'm going to go ahead and braze this up, and I can uh, test it out with nitrogen, and then put it into a vacuum. Well, our vacuum's on 283. It's been running for about four minutes or so. It's a benefit to uh, working quickly. The line set isn't open to the air very long. But the vacuum will be a little faster. But I'm going to let it roll for a little bit while I'm cleaning up. Then I'm going to insulate that line and get this thing started again. Alright, I'm done for today. I didn't get to test that unit out today. I had to come back tomorrow because the homeowners weren't there. Or the tenants weren't there. So I'll test that one out in part two. I'll go ahead and release part one here tonight. Uh, I'm heading back up to Rocky Point. Stop by Mo's, the entire place that I go to because my brakes are shot. Uh, I was heading around today and they started to grind like a joker. So I got to take them over there and let them take a look at them. But hopefully I get that taken care of here shortly. And then I can get back to work tomorrow. 
and I will bring you part two as soon as possible.